Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you all how to create the uh, lower joints in the legs uh, and also we're going to cover the reverse foot joints which is really really cool. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to switch to my side view and again I'm going to just start to go to my skeleton under the rigging tab. Skeleton, create joints. and I'm going to create one about here and then I'm going to go down to the knee, then I'm going to go down to the ankle, then I'm going to go to the ball toe, and then I'm going to go to the toe, and I'm going to press enter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply rename these, L hip joint, knee joint, ankle joint ball toe joint and last but not least toe joint all right now again I'm gonna need to switch to my uh, front view and just put this into place so um, again Whenever you're creating joints in an orthographic viewport, uh, it will whatever direction that viewport's going to, it will um, basically create it at whatever that direction is equals zero. So x equals zero, y equals zero, z equals zero. All right. So the side would be x, the top would be y, and the front would be z. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide this into place, and I'm going to put the first one about here, and then I'm going to select my knee, and I'm going to slide this one over. About here and just like we did with the elbow we need to keep this bend in the knee we need to keep that bend in the knee and that's basically telling Maya that um, we know how we want that joint to bend and then I'm just gonna drag this over to about here and I'm gonna keep the feet uh, straight here and now that I've got that all named and set up properly I can go to skeleton and mirror joints. I'll hit the little settings just so you can see. We're going to mirror across Y and Z and we're going to search for L and replace with R and mirror. And you'll notice right away our hip joint, our knee, our ankle, our ball toe, and our toe joint. Now we're going to create something called the reverse foot joints. Now this one is a little bit trickier but honestly it's the same exact concept. We're going to switch again back to our side viewport, and we're going to go to Skeleton, Create Joints, and we're going to start at the heel, and then we're going to go to the toe, because it's going to be reversed, then we're going to go to the ball toe, and then we're going to go to the ankle, and we're going to press Enter. And you notice how I'm like hovering directly over them, because that is an important um, piece of information to know. So we started at the heel, so L reverse heel J and T. So I name all of these joints with the term reverse because this is going to be the same thing as ball toe except it's going to be the reverse ball toe. So it is important to know. And I type reverse because you know if I just typed R I don't you know L R kind of thing then R L you know reverse whatever um, I think it just get too confusing so I think this is just pretty straightforward this will be the toe and the ankle and I think I got them all okay so L reverse heel ball toe toe and ankle so it goes heel toe ball toe ankle that's the correct order so heel toe ball toe ankle all right, now I'm going to simply drag this into place right over there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create two joints. And I can create this from my top view, which I would like to do preferably. However, um, I'm, I'm worried I'm going to get too discombobulated with other joints in here. So I don't want to uh, mess anything up in the top view. But preferably, if it were an option, I would definitely prefer the top view. However, since I got a little bit too much going on in that viewport, I'm going to do it in my side viewport 
And again, I'm going to go skeleton, create joints. And I'm actually going to start on the outside. <clears throat> and I just pressed escape. So if I, you know, I realized that I placed one joint incorrectly and I was going to place another one here. If I press escape, it just cancels out the whole thing. So I'm going to start on the outside of the toe or outside of the foot. I'm going to hold shift to make it a straight line. And I'm going to go straight across to the other side and then press enter. So this is going to be um, L reverse outer JNT. Oh, and I have a little example here, so I have it named. And I'm just going to rename these. so I don't have the numeric number at the end. This is going to be L reverse inner J and T. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it is at a good point. So I'm going to actually bring this, eh, that, should, that should work in theory. Um, something like that. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. So I'm going to put it about here, um, slightly behind the ball toe. And then from here, you'll notice this is parented because um, what these joints are actually going to control are going to be uh, the sides of the, of the uh, foot. And then from here, I'm going to select the heel, shift select the inner joint, and press P. So now when I do this, you'll notice this foot kind of turns this way when I rotate it this way on this joint, and then I rotate it this way on this joint. So let me bring up the example because I know it is a little bit confusing. So let's just do shift P. Oh, oh. shift P. So the first thing we do is we create this joint um, on the outside, then we create the joint on the inside. And then we take the heel joint, we hold shift, we select the inner joint, and press P to parent. And this will allow us to create this movement on both sides. So we'll be able to turn the foot, uh, I call it the, the bank, basically. So the bank actually will rotate the, the toe bank, or the foot bank. That's what I call it. So anyway. Um, I've got that all named and labeled, and if you do have any questions, be sure to shoot me a message, and I'll um, I'll just show you. So it's heel, toe, ball toe, ankle. From there, we create the outer joint, create the inner joint, so those are uh, good right away, and then we parent the heel joint to the inner joint. So that's how you got to do that one, but. Now that we're that far, if I if I select this outer joint, this should be the parent, basically root control for everything on the reverse foot uh, joints. And now we can run a skeleton mirror joints, and same thing. You know, it's all the settings are the same from previous. L replaces with R, and on the Y Z axes. And now I can go ahead and delete this, and delete this. All right, so that's creating the lower body joints as well as the reverse foot joints. So, oh, and one last thing before I finish, um, I can shift select all of the uh, the left hip and the right hip, and then um, shift select the root joint and press P to parent. And now everything is uh, parented basically to this. And the root joints or the reverse foot joints, um, they stay. Uh, separate from the main uh, rig. So anyway, um, that's everything I got for you in this video um, as far as creating the joints. Um, if you do have any questions, shoot me a message and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one and again, message me if you have any questions. Thanks again.